wait, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Tunipudu. Rana no prata dung no sercha. Ichu a penki. You fool. I hadn't looted the place. Damn it. Oh, is the body of the dog alerting her even though I don't have the opportunity to move it? That certainly seems to be her goal. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ooh, good job, Lovelover. Yes. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Uh, <laughs> um, that's not good. <laughs> we will have a nice new feature in town soon, it's true. Achievement unlocked. It's heading right for us. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well, you weren't kidding. That is actually a pretty attractive crater. Looks like we've maybe got three left. Did I say three? I meant two. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, that is... Uh this room is in lockdown, but don't worry. I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. That's an excellent idea. When you desperately need all troops available at your side, be sure to lock them in their rooms and force them to use an override that they may not know. I'm not sure where that boat went. The stories say he sought to claim is someone there. <laughs> what the hell? It's pretty amazing the difference the rain makes in the controllability of the car. What a time to say that. <laughs> is going on in the background there? What was that explosion? Oh. Well. <laughs> I wanted to take out the billboard. That was not quite how I saw myself doing it. <laughs> And this is exactly... <laughs> okay, we're getting a replay of that one clip. This is exactly what happened. Now we have to make our way back. Ridiculously overloaded with all these materials. This is still fine. This is still not a problem. <laughs> No explosion. What's up? Oh. <laughs> wow. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. <laughs> Freddy Krueger sweater.
Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I, I may have changed my mind. I actually kind of like this. This has some real potential. Hey! I have not... I have not looted that, sir. I guess those are the quote-unquote dead Ewoks. Bobby, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Oh, there's more than one of them. <laughs> I think he, one of them just took a flying leap off that tower. 25% <laughs> of it units destroyed, so that means there's only four. Whatever's launching those LRMs is the last. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts in Should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> oh, nice. That was awesome. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So, you got that job as a janitor after all. <laughs> I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. <laughs> you fight like a dairy farmer. I am rubber. You are glue. I Got give up. You win. Yes. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Why not both? Explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? Both. 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 Both is good. That could work. <laughs> that was <laughs> wow. Good job. While they appreciate human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused that are being summoned to court clothes. Oh my god. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. <laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. That works. Should be a vent in that. Instead, I'm gonna phrase it as a call to action. No, we're not going there. Oh, I guess we're going there. And the underground moves right in. Oh, 
Whoa! <laughs> um, oops. That was maybe not my best move. <laughs> well, that was, that was pretty close to a good plan. Come, there's much left to do. See you at the ceremony, Mistios. <laughs> Oh, you jerk. You want to play with plasma? I'll show you how to play with plasma. That's how you play with plasma. Nobody for you to worry about. Nobody at all. Can I free the operative with the spider? No? Shoot. Okay. Oh, you're one of ours. Never mind. Sorry about that. What the hell? <laughs> That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and get started. What? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. Um, that certainly looks like it's being held by Rebel Scum. Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Oh my god, it's GLaDOS. On a scale of one to six? Ah, I'd say I'm setting it up. Strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamine misses you. Here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Oh my god, it is GLaDOS. Really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. What the fuck? I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. <laughs> oh my god. didn't work so well oh maybe it'll come here okay more locally to you then yeah i oh. whoops thanks auto drive what do we got the amulet of lost voices speak with dead the dead hold no secrets from Durgle's scriveners of doom i love These oh my god oh my god Scriveners of Doom is the best title ever. See what I mean? Achievement unlocked, Legendary Warrior. Oh, these look. Chances folly. There's potions on the shelf here, looks excellent. Oh, and a lot more books. My library is off to a good start. Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. I apologize for the late start tonight. One of these days, I'm probably just going to set my start time to 1130. Um, how's everybody doing tonight? Aaron Lawrence, good to see you. Sketchy, great to see you. Crystal Dragon 22, how's it going? 
Uh, Farmer Boy John, how's it going? It's good to see you as well. You have arrived. About time, I know, I know. Hey, I got stuff to do. T's not going to make itself, you know. Okay, we're going to be doing some Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic this evening. This is our very first official Retro Sunday stream. Now, we've kind of done unofficial Retro Sundays and unofficial Maker Mondays, but this week we're doing them officially. So, where's my stuff? Here we go. That should do it. That's actually why it's been 11 o'clock for so long, Farmer Joy Boy John. That is absolutely correct, and I probably never will legit put it to 11.30. You just finished Chapter 1 in the Old Republic. Very nice, sketchy. Oh, right. We went to Waterworld, and so far there's not one single sign of Kevin Costner anywhere. Uh, what were we doing? Oh, God, I remember now. It just came back to me. We were working on that mystery story. The old friend of Joe Lee's who was accused of murder, and it turns out he actually did it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sometimes better at starting at 11. I don't know why I'm going back and forth. I have no idea where I'm supposed to actually be or what we're working on. I guess I should look at my journal and we'll find out where we're supposed to be going. So yeah, tonight is going to be an official retro Sunday stream. Tomorrow will be the first official Maker Monday stream. And to kick that off by popular demand, we're going to be playing My Time at Sandrock again. Well, apparently not, Farmer Boy John, because I can't seem to find him around here anywhere. Quest for the Star Forge. You've asked Bastila why the Jedi Council sent the two of you, neither fully trained on this dangerous mission. Based on her answer, Bastila either has blind faith in the Council, or she simply prefers to avoid the question. I'm not sure what to do about this whole Gino Harridan situation. It seems to me that carrying out assassinations on their behalf kind of goes against my light side leanings. So, I don't know. Bastila's mother is Satil Shan, right? I don't believe so. This is earlier in the timeline than the Old Republic. Satil would be a descendant or other related family member of Bastila's. Like maybe a grand nephew or grand niece, rather. Let's back out to the docking area. Nice, Farmer Boy John. Uh, all right, let's talk to him again. Jolly, coming to check in on an old man? Soon, old friend. Oh, I grow weary. Very well. 
I suppose there is still much you must do before the trial. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go to trial, just tell the warden. Would stuff that happened in these games be official story for Star Wars, or is it considered outside the actual story? This is considered to be Legends material. It's part of the old expanded universe that Disney rendered on canon, until individual bits and bobs are brought back into canon again. Okay, we're not interested in this. Or are we? Actually, maybe I should talk to them again. Is there anything suspicious about this case? There is something that has been bothering me, the metal that was found clutched in the Sith sand. I find it most odd that such a blatantly incriminating piece of evidence would be left at the scene of the crime. We have analyzed the evidence and it does not appear to be a replica, but I still have my doubts. In the midst of the crime, though, Sunri could well have lost it. I have seen much more improbable things happen in my tenure to the courts. Simply because it was real does not mean Sunri would have overlooked it being in Elasa's hand. <laughs> Okay. We need to find the hotel again. I have no idea where they left it, but we've got to find it. Auto City Central, we'll try there. Yes, that makes sense, Sketchy. Yep, like I said. This game happens well before the Old Republic did. shop here. I think the inn might, or the, uh, the hotel rather, must be this way. Hey, Greeny, how are you doing? You are the one defending Sunry now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you, and I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. What do you know about Sunri and Elasa? Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunri would come by a couple hours later and stay all night. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what was going on. Oh, nice sketchy. Satil didn't come two or three hundred years after Bastila if she is indeed Bastila's granddaughter. Which I do think I remember. Uh, but if she's like a great, 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 great granddaughter, then yeah. That, I'm not sure what the specific timeline is. I don't think it was hundreds of years, but maybe it was. It's been a while since I played it. Two to three hundred years. Okay, so probably more like, yeah, great-great-great-granddaughter then. Not a, an actual, literal granddaughter. Uh, let's see. There were only two other people in the hotel when it happened. One was a Rodian named Bluepool. Seems like a really dirty, shifty type. Normally, I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable businessman, you know. 
but there weren't many people here, so I decided to take a chance. The other is a regular named Feareth Me. If I may he's have a your attention player, for a moment, probably a an addict, but he claims he's just big in some again. circles. Don't Allow know anything about him other than that. Anything else you want to know? AMZ, thank you so much for the resub. 29 months of support, that's amazing. How are you doing? It's good to see you. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunri comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunri running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though. Could it have gone off after he left? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, just barely. But I wouldn't say that to the court. What do you want to know? Well, okay. If you need anything else, I'm gonna be right here. Yep, new things to spend tokens on. I've been doing pretty good, AMZ. I'm sorry to hear that, Greeny. I can't say I'm surprised, though. You know, the food industry and all. Okay, not that room. Jen Fair, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Okay. Uh, Jolie, do you mind? I'm here. Yes? I'm here. On it. Oh, fun, Greeny. I'm very sorry to hear that. You again. Didn't I tell you people everything I knew? So why do you keep coming back to me? Salsa Boy disappearing constantly? Is there any way you can just stop scheduling him shifts without actually firing him? Love the food, but not the work, yeah. I was in my room, minding my own business with the latest copy of Pazak Weekly, checking out the listings for the big tournament that's going to be held here soon, when I heard a blaster shot. Being still alive, and therefore smart enough not to stick my head out immediately, I didn't go out right away. I looked out after a minute and saw Glupor in the hall by Alas's room, and Sunray running like the wind. You can't tell me that someone who was running like that, and he was pretty fast for a cripple, isn't guilty. Yes, well, I'll be right here. Not like they're letting me go anywhere else. If he's that bad, though, Greeny, would it be better to actually just not have him at all? Because then you wouldn't have to clean up after him. Or is he actually useful enough to be worth the hassle? What can I do? I'm here. Okay. So they have really nothing new to add, unfortunately. Unless... see if I can get that locked door open. What? Hmm. It's questionable whether that was worth it. And that one just doesn't open at all. On Sundays, he is the cleanup guy. He is supposed to do dishes on Sundays. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like he actually is doing that. It's 
dishes. So if he's there to do dishes, but he doesn't do dishes, what's the value of actually having him be present and collecting a check? To say nothing of the time that you have to spend dealing with his bullshit while you're there. He went on salary, oh boy. I stay hourly so that I only work 40 hours. Okay. At least that makes sense. I, I think I get it now. All right, I'm gonna save the game here and we're gonna get this trial started. I had been hoping that something new might shake loose by going back to the hotel and asking new questions, but it doesn't seem like that's about to happen. Oh, this isn't where we do it. begin Sunri's trial now. Are you certain, human? Once the trial has begun, it cannot be stopped, and once judgment is given, the case can never be reopened. You must be certain your investigations are complete before you request a trial. This is the role of the Arbiter. Are you certain you wish to begin the trial now? Let the record show that the trial of Sunri versus the Auto City Authority has commenced. Presiding our judges Shelkar, Joseph, Nalshikan, Kota, and Dula. This trial is to determine the culpability of Sunri in the death of the Sith Ilasa. Representing Sunri in his defense as a member of the Jedi Order, do you have any opening statements? I'm supposed to be defending him. Do I actually have to turn him over? Also, I don't think it's the, uh, you know, the defense's job to find Sunri innocent. That's the jury and the judges, isn't it? They argue that he's innocent. What do you guys think? Tell the truth. Damn it. Okay. A recording. Let this new evidence be entered in the records. Ah, this new evidence is most convincing. Yes, yes, it seems to be. 
This shortens the trial considerably. In light of this new evidence, there is no need to proceed with the witnesses or cross-examinations. Wow, video game justice. This court hereby finds Sunry guilty of the murder of the Sithi Lassa. In accordance with Selkath law, the prescribed punishment for murder is death. The verdict has been delivered and this trial is now over. Remove the guilty party from this courtroom. I'm sure Jolie's going to be real thrilled with me. Got something on your mind? So what do you think of Sunri's verdict? You did what was necessary. Sunri was guilty. Sad as that fact makes me. Justice had to be done. Doesn't matter that his victim was a Sith or that he was once a hero. I only wish that my old friend hadn't done it. But that's the thing about wishes. They don't come true. And now Sunri's dead, which is a shame. He was a good man, you know, once. Well, I don't want to talk about this anymore. My jaw aches. I like Jolie. He's awesome. Okay. I wonder if we have to confront his wife now. Elora seems to have moved on, but we might run into her elsewhere. Nope. Can't go there. here, except for the ongoing recruitment drive. Let's see what that's done with our journal. Yeah, it looks like all the stuff relating to it has been cleared off. So that's good. So I guess now we go back to the Republic headquarters and we'll see about using that sub to go visit the star map. This is not, this is not headquarters. This is back to the, uh, back to the docking area. Come on, Bastila. Yes? You're holding everyone up, come on. Thought Jedi were fast. Explore the Brackard Rift. Enter the Republic base. 
In the Colto packing room, there is a door leading to the Republic submarines. The sub will have a course to the Rackert Scientific Research Facility charted in. It will take you to the Rackert Rift. I wish you luck on your quest. Hopefully, a Jedi can succeed where so many others have failed. Okay. Large computer. A moment, please. I hear we have a new follower in the library. Now, let's show them to a comfortable seat and welcome them in. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Let's save the game just in case this somehow manages to go completely sideways. This submersible can be used to descend to the Deep Ocean Racker Research Station. By the way, I don't know if everybody heard the news. I posted about it on Discord, but it looks like KOTOR 2 is getting a Switch release as well. Actually, very soon, within the next couple of weeks. So, I'm really excited about that. So for those wondering if I was going to stream KOTOR 2, probably won't do it right away, like not the instant I finish this one, but that is definitely going on the list of games that we are going to stream for sure. Candlejack, how you doing? It's good to see you. I'm kind of doubly excited about that one because getting this one was great for the Switch, but it's a replay. I played this a long, long time ago. I tried to play KOTOR 2, but I ran into a game-breaking bug that prevented me from being able to actually do anything with it. We have corpses. This is not inspiring feelings of confidence. One might almost say that things are amiss here. Just playing some games? That sounds awesome. What are you playing? Wait, what? I think I missed something. I'm Hilera. Calm yourself down. No, no, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. What happened, dear? This would appear to be another bugged area. And the self cath came out screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. What happened to the scientists? The sharks, the Faraxa out there, and worse, I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it, just food for the sharks and the Selkath, like us. I have to get into the station. Well, I can always come back. Let's get whoever this is back to the surface. But all the machine... This is so annoying. It's skipping half the conversation. But all the machinery and stuff is in the southern half, and that's been flooded. There might still be environmental suits around, but but the Selkath might have laid their eggs in them. We could always, you know, remove them. Wait here while I go into the station. No, I locked the door so the Selkath won't get in. If you open it, we're all done for. I have no choice. Oh, it's a mercenary. I have no choice. Yeah. Okay, this is like that area on Kashyyyk. Hopefully, like the area on Kashyyyk, it's a limited area of effect and not a widespread one. Oh, that's fancy.
Due to a great game-breaking bug, I've technically never beat the first KOTOR. The feat of the final boss, the game changing to the final cutscene, used to crash everything. So I've beaten the game twice, but never seen the ending outside of YouTube. I'm so sorry, Candlejack. That sucks. That's a lot of credits. I'm gonna try something. I don't expect it's gonna help. But I'm just gonna quickly save the game and then reload it. Might fool it into actually functioning for a bit. Oh, hang on. Hey, just saving was enough. That's cool. Put your saber away just yet. Damn, guys, leave some for me. If I can, I'm I'm not gonna be able to switch out characters, am I? Nope. <laughs> okay. How many spikes do I have? One. I'm not even gonna bother. Wow. Oh. Still probably not even worth it. Not when it costs one spike just for bear system access. That leaves me a whole two spikes to actually work with. Painful one. Oh, hey, not bad. Not bad. I love how they do big kicks like you're not holding a whole lightsaber, I know. Sigil crystal and a Jedi Master robe.
Never hurts to check. I wasn't sure we were going to be able to do that one. Oh, this looks different. What's going on here? Proved energy cell, Arcanian energy shield. Whimpering locker. Is somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. I'm Hilera and I've been sent by the Republic to investigate what's happened here. Investigate? You're just like the others. Water for the cell calf. Walk and fish next. Trump, trump, trump. If you can run, you might be fast food. And started killing everybody. I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. Come out. We'll protect you from the cell cath. No, 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 no. That's what the others said. Mercenaries like you. But they did. The cell cath eat them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive. But where the culto is, few fishies there. But many, many, many fishies in between the water. What made the cell cath insane? Don't know. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy fishies, though, they just got hungry. No, no. Only the one. Bye bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Move for fishy. That's you. Okay then. I, I, I don't know Kendall Jack. I've actually never seen Rick and Morty. Although, I really need to, because the little clips and bits that I've seen and the D&D &D starter set based on Rick and Morty and all that are really funny. Honest. Done. Done. 
they're really gearing us up here. Hmm. So we can't use that environmental suit that we just got? Or is that, I maybe just assumed that you're already using it somehow. I think we'd better save. This whole room is not really inspiring a great deal of confidence in me. Oh, hi. Now I have an ion grenade. That would have been so handy about five minutes ago. Scientist memo. Sonic emitter. In response to those and sharks outside, I managed to whip up a little something in one of the workrooms. This is a sonic emitter, which should scare them off. The sound seems to work a lot better underwater than through the air, and if you fix it on the outside of an Enviro suit, just push the button every time they get near and you'll have no problems. So I was just wondering, when am I going to get that raise? So this is apparently what we need in order to get to the star map. Well, that's part of what we need. We also need an exit to the outside. Pressure door, that'll be how we get outside. Okay. Let's have a look at the overall map. So that one door that I can't get into seems to be the only place that... Wait a minute. Maybe there's another way in there. That looks like two areas link up. Ah. 
skill too low. Great. Watch yourself, guys. Oh, hello. Another scientist memo. And another sonic emitter, too. These sonic emitters have got to be what drove the Selkath insane. the same. Well, we can go back this way and see if Guys. Jeez. What? the poison bastila. Another pressure door. Let's just use the nearest pressure door then. I'm sure these sharks won't be a problem at all. Let's go all the way to the other side of the station then and try the other door. still here. That one we can't open. On it. Damn.
least we shouldn't have to set that particular mine off. That'll be a nice change of pace. Oh, ow. Okay, so we can't get that one open. No. We can't get that one open. But at least we can get around to the other side the long way if we have to. Activating airlock control. Here we go. Here's our exit. Hostile environmental conditions. Environmental suit advised. You only have one Enviro suit available. If you proceed through the airlock, all party members will have to stay behind until your return. I have a recent save. It's fine. Oh, great. Survivor? Who's there? You're not Selkath, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? I'm Halera. The Republic sent us down to investigate. I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Selkath killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The Selkath swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy Selkath. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. What are you doing in the underwater section of the facility? I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hracker Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell casts mutants running around looking for dinner okay I'll come with you I'm not spending another minute in this facility not with those psychotic fish people all over the place I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now it leads to another complex of buildings going through them is the only way to reach the Colto harvester you oh, couldn't you go above them together but I won't wait around in here with the cell cat you can catch up with me if you want down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Can't I just follow you? I mean, I can see where you're going right now. And how the hell is he running so fast?
Oh, is this the part? Hurry up! Don't just stand there. We have to keep moving. The water is filled with gas. Yep. Yep. I was gonna say. Okay, so there's sharks over this way. Looks like there's stuff there, though. It, oh god, it uses them up. It's not a repeatable thing? Crap. Well, that's rude. Oh, hang on. Not so fast. It looked like it was using them up, but it actually looks like we're fine. Also, it looks like those sharks are inside the building too. So that's fun. Here, sharks. It doesn't actually look like we're all that deep down. Why did we have to use a sub to get here? And why do I have to wear this massive pressure suit? I mean, I guess gravity could be heavier on this planet. So maybe the water weighs a lot more. Mad, how's it going? I'm doing pretty... Why did I get rid of the pressure suit? Give me the pressure suit. Oh my god. I'm doing good, Matt. How are you? Probably a good time for a break, which I'm late for. Good day. I'm looking forward to a holiday tomorrow. Very nice, Mad. Got any plans for it? Oh, I have to redo that. Ugh, it's fine. Uh, oh, um, let's get to the menu and then there we go. Just in case. I'm going to take my first break of the evening, folks. I like to get up every hour or so and move around a little bit, just keep the circulation flowing. So if you need to get up yourself and grab some food or a drink or whatever you got to do, this is a really good opportunity to do it. I'm usually about three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts. So I'll meet you back here when that's up. Papa Bichu! <laughs> I can't 
quite squeeze past this cannon. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, they've messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> Can I call you Bob? <laughs> you may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Just hey, as Lloyd. soon as I finish looting. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Just give me half a second. Priorities first, sir. Oh crap! I forgot. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, this is a bit of a problem. It's not likely to explode very satisfactorily. So I don't think we have any choice. Oh! Never mind. Oh my god, that was amazing. See, I'm not the only one. The NCPD does it too. Even him, only 30 nanites, wow. I'm a little suspicious now. Uh, I quick saved, right? So. Yeah. Sock puppet hounds. That was a good chunk of damage. That's different. Ooh. Holy crap, what was that? Oh my god, they just oh <laughs> and it's on fire. Oh it's an uh wow. The ice cube factory's on fire. You know your city has problems when. That's one down. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Even the rebound is impressive. Good job, everyone. That ought to keep the Imperials off our back for a little while longer. You have no leader. It seems I misjudged you. Can you forgive me? Hey, I just painted this thing. Of course, Red Leader. For you see, it doesn't matter about the color of our squadron. What's important is we're all the same on the... <laughs> Oh my god, the timing! 25% of it units destroyed, so that means there's only four. Whatever's launching those LRMs is the last. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back. That means cleaning up around the house. Well, I guess it has to be done at some point, right, Mud? Thank you, Aaron Lore. Hey, Bob. Thank you, Greeny. Thank you, Mad. <sighs> Is there no way I can get another suit? I would really love to take these guys with me. Oh, right. We have to... <laughs> We have to go to the other room. Said they can't stay long, so hello there and goodbye there. Have a good stream and a good rest of your day night. Thank you so much, Bob. Have a good night yourself. I hope you get some good rest. Pretty sure we looted this already. Yeah. Okay, that's that. This is where we save. Attention, please. We have a new follower in the library. L, that's your cue. Let's welcome the company. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. Who's there? You're not Zelkath. I can see that. I'm, a I'm just going to skip through this fairly quickly since we I literally just did this. I'm not. I'm. We okay, let's go. It was nice knowing you, sir.
Probably not a bad point to save again at, actually. You know, none of this is coming back to me at all. I played this so long ago. I I remember bits and pieces of some of the other worlds. I remember Dantooine reasonably well. I have flashes of memory of Kashyyyk. But this? Not one thing so far. No! <laughs> wow! Okay, so they're one hit, one kill. Good to know. It's been so long, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't actually finished this game since it was a new game. And then I never actually finished the second one at all, so I'm really thrilled that it's actually getting a Switch port. That's going to be so great. I ran into a game-breaking bug that unfortunately made it unplayable for me at the time, and I've just never really gotten back to it. Hey, two for one. I don't suppose I can kill the one in the building. I didn't try that last time. And by last time, I mean like 15 minutes ago. Hey, it worked. That's awesome. I'll take the free XP, thank you. Yeah, nothing on this planet at all. The entire planet. I'm just drawing a blank. I think I vaguely remember that it existed, but that's about it. I don't remember any of the station areas that we've been through. I don't remember the trial storyline at all. I don't remember this. I'm sure I'd remember this. Playing through this now, I kind of wonder if maybe this inspired Soma in some way. Okay, so, what can we see on our map so far? Absolutely nothing. Sir, thank you so heckin' much for 40 months. That's amazing. What unbelievable timing you have, too. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Maybe we'll explore around outside a little bit more. You know, I'm thinking the one hit, one kill mega shark monsters that we're having to fight out here are a little less bad than that encounter in there is. Although, now some of the sounds that we're hearing are a little unnerving. up here okay well in that case Okay. Is this Subnautica? Honestly, I was literally just commenting before you got here that it looks like it might have inspired Soma. Damn. I wish I could have T3. Tetris. I think you're probably right there. Okay, so let's have a look at our map again. And since I'm here... and the cell cap in. No, stay out! Stay out! I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them! Kill them now! Sixty seconds to complete depressurization. Um. Fifty-four seconds to complete depressurization. Whew. Okay. No, no. The Faraxa will get us. No, the cell cap are coming. No. No, no! Ah! Calm down. Everything will be okay. I'm a friend. I'll protect you. You're both safe now. I, I'm sorry for what I did. I don't know what came over me. I, I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're What's a little scared. attempted murder? When the cell cat went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frags and sharks just tore them apart. It was, it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew... Our cell cat researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team, my team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me, I, I thought we were the only ones left. 
We heard the cell cat outside the doors every once in a while, and strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead, dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. You know, they say that they're the only ones that didn't go insane. Attempted murder doesn't really speak to this story. We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This, this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Firaxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the silk cats started screaming too. And they turned on us. What did the shark have to do with that? It was protecting something? It may. It may have been. Maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Colto vent. That might explain a few things too. Like what? Like why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Colto. Would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. With Colto as a food source. And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. So what can I do about it? The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. What are you talking about? The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firax and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the Colto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. Well, thank you, Bill. Ugh, I need a good nut neck stretch. Ugh, that's good. Thank you. Oh, a lot of votes for Uncharted tonight. That's good. I really want to do a replay of that series. I'll probably do a slower replay than we did the first time I went through it, because this will be, what, I think effectively my third time through Uncharted 1 and my second time through the entire rest of the series. So we'll probably do Uncharted 1 at some point reasonably soon, probably over the summer. And then we'll get back to doing, you know, maybe Uncharted 2, 3, 4, and Lost Legacy gradually over time instead of just bolting through the entire franchise. How, what else could I do? I don't love the idea of possibly killing off the Colto. They haven't discovered Bacta yet, so that would be disastrous. You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Firaxan drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Colto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxan shark. What other choice do I have, though? Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. I like that better. You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel, so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. 
The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at one to three million sangin, a liquid at about four million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. Four if million, then. If enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But, but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work. It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. I will try to destroy the harvesting machine. Good. Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the Colto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting machine and fiddle with the fuel injectors to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the Colto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice. This is going to be very much like that Mass Effect 1, or is it, yeah, Mass Effect 1 puzzle where you have to get the pressure just right to make the, um, the, whatchamacallit, I want to say the Geth ship, but I don't think it was Geth, but, you know, you make it detach itself from the building. Ooh, that's not fun, Bill. Ugh. Sorry about that. I hope your kid is feeling better really quickly. Ear infections really suck. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, they opened up the door for me. There's another suit here. We still haven't slept much in the last two nights. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm really sorry. There we go. Oh, another one. Now, am I going into this building, or do I want to wander down this way? I'm not really sure. I guess we'll try this way and see what happens. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to save again. That was a fairly long conversation. Wait, what? How did you guys get here? I mean, I'm not complaining, but... What the what? <laughs> okay, hang on a second here. I want to actually... There's fewer rewards. I want to look at the results of these uh, challenges so far. Oh, I set it up wrong. There's two days left on it. That's funny. Today's effectively the last day. Okay, so far it looks like Uncharted is by far the most popular choice in this set of three. It's got 11% of the vote. Persona 5, also reasonably high with 6%. And Broken Sword has actually attracted some interest as well. It's got 3%. I'm not too surprised about that. I expect that most people are aware of what Uncharted is. A reasonable number, but kind of a subset, would know what Persona 5 is. And I actually would be surprised if a large number of people have any clue what Broken Sword is. So we just went back to the building we were in originally. That's fun. Oh, 
I have not heard of Broken Sword. Yeah, it's not super, super well known, but among people who do know what it is, it's extremely well regarded. It's considered to be like a high watermark in the classic adventure game style. So like it, it's it's your kind of classic point and click style adventure game. So something along the same lines as your Monkey Island, only by different developers and with a uh, more of a sort of uh, Knights Templar murder mystery sort of vibe, rather than your loony zany pirates kind of vibe. Okay, you guys are decorative, right? You're not actually gonna hurt me. That's the Colto control panel. We do not want to use that. Why am I suddenly... My god, I sound like an army. Oh, is that the monster shark? If it is, that thing is terrifying. <laughs> okay, maybe not a shark. It's a sea beast. Still terrifying. Oh my god. Really? I had... That much time and I couldn't react or do anything? I couldn't even try my sonic thingy? You stop that. Thank you. I wish it had a memory and would just remember, hey, the sonic emitter was selected. Let's keep that selected even after it switches, since it seems to want to switch at the drop of a hat. And there's the sea beast. No! Damn it! Uh, that's right. That is right. I do have depression. Some form of it, anyway. I'm gonna have to save the game closer to the Sea Beast, I think. This has got to be an example of them trying to make the right thing to do the more difficult thing to do.
I don't remember this at all, Vikings. I know I finished the game, so I must have done it. But this entire planet, I'm drawing a complete blank. I don't remember any of it. I certainly don't remember this. Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm not dead yet. I probably got one or two more squares to go. I'm going to save again. Also playing Mario 64's Jolly Roger Bay underneath the stream, which really enhances this water level. Oh, man. go any closer. I've got to be missing something. I mean, I could do the Colto, but I really would rather not inject poison into the planet's waters when the effects are going to be just, you know, completely unknown and untested. Maybe there was something more I was supposed to get over here in this building. I really didn't explore it very much. Fish repellent bat spray, that's basically the poison option. Only instead of repelling, it kills. The thing is, it may also kill the valuable healing resource that everybody wants the planet for. So nobody would be terribly happy with us, including the planet's biosphere. Nope, 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 hang on. There we go. No possessions, no remains? Huh. So this should be the door that I came in originally where I was trying and trying to fight them and it kept dying. Turns out this is a much better entry. 
Also turns out there's not a whole lot to this building, really. No worries, Kai. Or Cal. Is it Cal? Kai. You have schizophrenia. Yeah, so you know about uh, the mental health stigma and all that then. I hope you're able to cope with it well enough. Mine is very, very subtle. My depression is very, very subtle. So I had no idea what was wrong with me for the... Jeez. For the longest time. So many decades. Would you look at that? They get to level up. <sighs> so there's the one door in here that I can't open. Hey, Jim Racer, how are you doing? It's good to see you. You had delusions that your classmates were conspiring against you. Oof. Yeah, it's fun when your brain convinces you of things that aren't true. I'm glad to hear it, Jim. I suppose Jolie is maybe good enough to. Nope. <laughs> okay. What can I do? No. I'm here. Why did I not bring T3 with me, or maybe Mission? I wonder if I can take this up and go back. Oh, thank you, Aranar. How's I racing going? Mercenary, buddy. I have to get T3. Couple of unexpected podiums. Very nice. Congratulations. Did I tell you, Jim? I think I might have mentioned it on Twitter. How I uh, the next day after Attention. my oh. incoming raid. Please report to hospitality stations in a calm and orderly fashion. El Talera Joduri and other librarians will aid as need be. Please be ready to disperse library cards. Glimji! Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. Welcome on in, folks. If you've never been here before, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of different kinds of games. I play. I, I tend to specialize in games that are narrative heavy with really good character development, mostly single player. I also play some strategy games, some sandboxy games, and lately some retro RPG and classic adventure games. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to uh, hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in too. How are you doing, Glimji? Your name looks awfully familiar. I believe you've been here before. How's it going? It's so good to see you. What were you up to this evening? Uh, could we get a shout out for Glimji? It's always. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, Sea of Thieves. That's a fun one. Yeah, so uh, how did Sea of Thieves go? Tell me all about it. It's been a while since I played that one, but I have played that a bit a while back. I always had a good time with it. Um, but yeah, here's the video. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. 
Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, <laughs> Okay, that... I have not... I have not looted that, sir. It'll be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Did a lot of gold hunting, solving riddles, nearly killing myself from falling when I thought I was safe. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I don't think we really need Jolie for the rest of this bit. So I hope everyone's had a good weekend so far. What did everybody get up to? For me, it's mostly been working on the new stream schedule. I mean, the times that I stream have not and will not change anytime in the near future. Uh, but... As I've mentioned a few times over the last few days, tonight is our very first ever... Uh, it's our first ever Retro Sunday. We did Strategy Saturday yesterday. And tomorrow, we're going to do Maker Monday. <coughs> Please excuse the interruption, but someone just had some bits delivered. What? They're always appreciated and never required. Joe Derry, please love these. Greeny, thank you so much. That's way too kind of you. I really appreciate that. So this is actually, it's funny that you should uh, do that, Greeny. This is partially inspired by stuff that you do. Also, stuff that other streamers do, but you're a big part of it. How you have the, you know, you do a specific game on a specific day. That's a thing that a lot of streamers do. But you've kind of made me think that maybe it's something I need to take a little more seriously. In combination with... Um, the heck is going on? No, it's down here. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just getting lost. Yes? 
it's also, I mean, honestly, the biggest thing that's prompted me to do this, you know, the, the Retro Sunday, the Strategy Saturday, the Maker Monday, all that kind of stuff, the biggest thing is that it's just a well-known fact that variety streaming is tough, and variety streaming when you just play what you want, when you feel like, without regards to the numbers or what's going to draw in an audience or any kind of consideration for anything other than what you feel like playing is a really good way to completely stagnate your channel and not grow anything ever. So, yeah. I kind of... Channel's gotten a bit stagnant lately. I kind of want to boost that a little bit and get it growing again, which actually it's a little bit early, but it does seem to be working, so I'm very happy about that. So, that door was a bit of a bust. Where's T3? I can at least open the far end of the corridor, I guess, and make it easier to get around. I was hoping there was going to be some key item in there that's going to make everything a little bit easier. No such luck. Oh. No. Oh. oh, wait. That's an... That's an... I didn't even know that was an option. Wow. There we are. I'm here. I'm here. So I would like the channel to grow a little bit more again. Or even, you know, well, maybe not necessarily a lot. A slower paced steady growth would be nice. Oh, we've already started Space Vikings. Last night was Strategy Saturday, tonight is Retro Sunday, and tomorrow is Maker Monday. So I've basically decided that Saturday, Sunday, and Monday are themed days where we're gonna play games of a particular type. It's kind of, my thinking there is that it's not quite to the point of having scheduled games on set days, but at least there's a lot more consistency in that you know on those three nights of the week I'm going to be playing a game of a, of a you know, a predictable type. So if you like it when I play the building types of games, which would be, you know, Jurassic World Evolution 2, or Cities Skylines, or RimWorld would fit under that, or even the Lego games, uh, you know, that one's a little bit more of a stretch, but I mean, Lego really does speak to building. So you know the kinds of stuff I'm going to be playing. We've arrived at the point where KOTOR is retro, I know, I know, it hurts my heart, but it's true. So... Let me see. Security control. Oh, right, right. That was the terminal. Okay, that's not another door. Envirosuit storage. Is there any way to get more Envirosuits? I'd love to bring the entire party with me. No, this was just this room. Okay. I guess my other option is I don't necessarily have to use this character. What can I do? I could send... I could send Bastila. Let's say you, Basilo, want to go out here? Actually, it occurs to me, I don't think Bastila has 
Oh, no, that's party equipment. What can I do here? Yes. Let's try it. Nope, it sent me. That's fun. Maybe I do have to explore this part more. I was gonna try to avoid that, but I may not have that luxury. Okay, so that leads outside. That leads back inside. the door. Damn. Damn. At least I didn't use up a spike. Okay, I think that's the room where the shark was. The one inside the room that I killed. I didn't actually see any indication that there was anything else in there. That's where I came in from. And that looks very dead endy to me.
Nothing over here. Now we only want the one direction. Down that away. Thanks for the host. What the heck? Oh, Farmer Boy John, thank you very much for the host. I appreciate it. Let's see if there's anything up here, although it really doesn't look like there is, does it? Maybe what I need to do is check my notes. There are ancient ruins near the rift that Kolto is harvested from, but there's also some sort of huge Faraxan shark out in the water. The two scientists you met, Kono Nolan and Sammy, have given you several possible ways of defeating this beast. Kono says that you should poison it and has given you a canister of some sort of blister agent they developed to use against the sharks. By putting it in the harvesting machine and venting it, it will spread through the water and kill the beast which drove the station insane. Sammy thinks that this toxin may contaminate the water or environment. She says that if you cause the machinery to rupture and explode, the beast may go back in- Oh, so either way I need to use that machine. Got it. Got it. The beast may go back to its slumber. She says that you need to get the pressure of the harvesting machine's fuel tanks to exactly 4 million sangen. At this pressure, the fuel will be extremely unstable and explode. Okay, got it. <laughs> yes, the, uh, the answer to that, Greeny, is you set up your host alert and you await for it to randomly work for no explainable reason. I haven't touched my regular alerts in... I don't even know how long. It's probably been a year. Oh, how did it go, Farmer Boy John? I hope it went well. So this will be the interior of that room I can't get to because of the welded door. Yeah, I don't really see anything in there except for the shark. So that should theoretically mean that all the sharks are dead. Unless they respawn at some point. I've seen no reason to think that that's true, though. Wanted to get some co-op matches in World of Warships? Yeah. I'm glad that one's going well for you.
last minute save. Accessing Harvester Control. Success. Status Nominal. Access Fuel Tank Pressure Control. Operator Warning. Hydroleum unstable at 4 million Sangin. Pressure would rupture container pod. Fuel injector pod at 0 of 3 million Sangin. Container pod at 0 of 5 million Sangin. Fill the container pod. No, wait a minute. Fuel injector pod at three of three million Sangin. Container pod at zero of five million Sangin. This to really work effectively, I need to not stand in front of the pod. Okay. Fuel injector pod at zero of three million Sangin, container pod at three of five million Sangin. what I want to do. Five of five million, right. Transfer con inter yeah, container to there we go. Fuel injector pot at three of three million, container pot at two of five million. Three of three million, two of five. For this to work, shouldn't you need a third pod, though? So you can fill either pod, you can dump either pod, you can transfer from injector to container. The objective is to get one of them, you, you get the container to four million exactly. I wish this was a more interactive visual puzzle. It would be really easy for me, but having to think this through entirely on a mental visualization basis, I don't know. Zero of three million, two of five million. Oh, wait a minute. Three million. Containers got three. Memorial Day is upon us in the U.S. Time to break out the history metal band Sabaton. Okay. I hope that works for you.
five for five million. No, I know who they are, Farmer Boy John. I know uh, Burke Black is a big fan of theirs, and I think he knows them. I, it's just they're a metal band, so I, you know, I'm really glad they're there. I'm really glad you enjoy them. I'm sure they're awesome. It's just not my deal. Okay. In the interest of preserving my sanity, because I'm going to have extreme difficulty with this as a pure visualization thing, if anyone wants to recommend or solve it, I'm all about that. sure how to solve this problem. That's fine. Just anybody who does, feel free to speak up. No, it's uh, four million, Greeny. Four million is the correct pressure for it to explode. I'm familiar with this kind of puzzle, but usually there's three containers you can switch things between. This is similar to the... Um, I, I, I was right, basically. It's similar to the Mass Effect puzzle in Mass Effect 1 where you have to get the ship to release by shutting a hydraulic door at the perfect pressure to slice through one of the, you know, sort of the fingers on the ship that are attaching it to the building. This is similar to that concept, but I, uh, it's making my head explode. Without a third container, I'm not really sure how to do it. I would love to hear it, Greeny. Hang on. Okay, we're at zero. Fill the container pod. Okay. Transfer from container to injector. Okay, so we're at three and two. Dump injector. We're at zero and two. So this is where I just was. Transfer from container to injector. Now we're at two and zero. Fill container pod. So we're at two and... Oh my god, you're right. Oh, I was so close! Oh, I get it. I totally understand the logic now. I had five, there was space for one more in the injector pod. You transfer one over, that leaves four remaining in the container pod, and boom. Okay, thank you, Greeny. That was gonna give me a headache. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time for me, too, to the point where I've been commenting for a good chunk of the night. I don't remember this planet at all. I think I maybe remember that it exists. But I don't remember any of the details. 
wait, Sea Beast is still there? Oh. Now that the Kulto harvesting machine has been destroyed, the Great Phyraxan shows no signs of hostility and it allows you to pass. Thank you, Sea Beast. <laughs> yeah, basically, Kai. I still swear this must have, you know, or might have partially inspired Soma. Oh, that's cool, Greeny. Maybe one day I'll try to get my login information sorted out with the Old Republic folks. You've discovered another ancient star map beneath the oceans of Manan. As before, the map is incomplete, but each map you find fills in more missing pieces of the puzzle. Hopefully, once you find all the star maps, they will give you the location of the Star Forge. You overloaded the fuel tanks of the Kulto harvesting machinery and caused it to explode. With the machine gone, the giant Phyraxan shark lost interest and returned to wherever it had layered. You found one of the star maps in the ruins it had been guarding. Yeah, I think part of the problem, part of the mental dissonance I was having with that problem is I was trying to figure out how to get it so that there wasn't just four in the container pod, but that there was just four, period, in the entire system. And I don't know that you could actually do that. You would need a third container. Well, presumably, I mean, the, the map has been there for who knows how many thousands and thousands of years. One would assume the beast was not there at the time. Very possible, Greeny. We don't know that Manan has always been 100% C. Now we're going to have some explaining to do. I'm sure the Republic's not going to be all that happy with us for destroying the machinery. But it had to be done. returned 
I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? The Selkath went insane. Your construction woke something up. Let's lead with that. Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? A giant Phyrexian shark that drove all the Selkath insane. It's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? A few scientists have survived. Well, that's good to know. Good to know indeed. But what has happened to the facility? Was it damaged? The harvesting machine was destroyed. No, that is terrible. That will set our work back years. It may even cost us the war. While I am glad that you were able to solve our problems, the cost may have ended up being much too high. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that, I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together again in the future. There we go. And now I finally get my level up. Master to weapon fighting. Okay, powers, let's see. Oh, I get another power. Oh. Okay, that works. So I guess that's really about it for this planet then. Take a quick jog around here to get the map filled out. Ah, I was hoping I could go back to the Ebon Hawk directly. No such luck. Cutscene time. We have detected a number of underwater detonations coming from the vicinity of the Hracker Rift. You have been known to have asked questions about this, and our spy monitors in the Republic Embassy recorded you leaving in a submersible that descended to Hracker Rift. You will come with us immediately to answer for your actions, or we will be forced to take you by force. Let's see what this is all about. But if they can do that, the whole system could... Silence. This is not for outsiders to hear. 
Well, human, you find yourself in a most difficult situation. The Hracker Rift is the most precious resource on Manan, and anything that threatens it or the Kolto it produces threatens our entire species. We will not tolerate threats to our neutrality, our existence, and our way of life. As much as we may admire your Republic and your order in particular, I believe you will have a hard time explaining your role in this incident adequately. We have determined that you are responsible for the detonations that occurred near the Frackert Rift. We demand to know what occurred down there. Now, it's not redundant. Two different uses of the word force. If the Republic has broken its neutrality treaty with us, the repercussions shall be very grave indeed. What have you done to the Rift? The Sith were trying to collapse the Frackert Rift. The explosions were at the research stations both of our governments set up there. Research station? What are you talking about? Don't try to lie to us, human. We know of this. What? It will be discussed later. This cannot be kept silent. The Council will... The Council will hear nothing of this, and you will keep your silence or be ejected from the court. But we cannot... Silence. What has happened at the research station? What caused the explosions? The machinery had woken up a giant Phyraxan shark. A giant Phyraxan? Could it be? Impossible. It is only a legend. But she said she killed it, didn't she? I certainly did no such thing. I didn't kill the shark. The progenitor. It must have been. That is merely a myth and not fit for outsiders to hear. But if it was the life bringer, the ancestor of our species, think of what this could mean. If it always layered there, then perhaps the Kolto. Enough. Offworlders are not to hear of such things. But she said she saved it. She destroyed the harvesters to save it. I actually hadn't gotten to that yet, but okay. Indeed, this casts your actions in a new light, human. This, I believe, will require more thought, both on your actions and on what we must do in response. This court will adjourn while we deliberate. We have reviewed your actions and the situation, human. We thank you for the destruction of the machinery and saving the giant Varaxan, which we believe is the source of our culto, or at least its guardian. We will not detain you any longer. While we cannot show our gratitude overtly, know that you have earned our respect. This trial is now over. Whew. Okay. Come on, droid. Yes, what? Yep. I kind of thought it wouldn't be a big problem because of the course of action that I took. Things could have gone very differently, I assume, if I had taken different actions down there. But I didn't have to lie about anything. So I figured... Uh, it's pretty safe. Almost like a prototype BD-1 from Fallen Order. I can kind of see that. I think he's supposed to be more like a very early form of R2. Or something of that, you know general design aesthetic. But I can see the BD-1 thing, too. I'm really looking forward to the remake of this game to see what they do with the updated models and stuff. I assume it'll have a new version of T3 and HK-47, the Ebon Hawk, and all that kind of stuff. 
I did see the teaser for Survivor. I really want to know who that other character is. This is not my bay. Oh, I forgot we had this vendor here. Oh, he's got infinite computer spikes. I wish I'd known that earlier. Oh, and he's got ion grenades. You've seen one fan theory? Yeah, I don't tend to really look up fan theories and all that kind of stuff. They might sometimes be interesting on the level of gossip, but I don't find that they're ever really useful. The only time they become useful is when they're proven to be true, at which point you no longer need the fan theory. Just came across it? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I come across them too. I just, I never actually go looking for them. I know there are a lot of people out there who do, and that's cool. I mean, there's no harm in it. I just don't find it all that useful myself. I think I'm going to... do something with this one. I'm gonna make this a red saber and remove the special crystals. And I'm gonna use an offhand short saber instead. Wait, why can I not put my blue one in? Oh! <laughs> I know why. I did that thing I do, where I make changes and forget to assemble it. There we are. Okay, attack bonus three, attack bonus one, and keen. Bolt deflection increase plus five. Damage bonus energy two. This is one of the new crystals I've got. Attack bonus one. Bonus energy damage. Energy type one die six. Hmm. Gonna use a diamond for the attack bonus. And a sigil. <laughs> There we go. I should do another Fallen Order playthrough one of these days? Yeah. You're right at the end? Oh, definitely go finish it, Greeny. It's so worth it. You too, Jim. Alright, where do we want to go? I need to figure out where they put the cockpit in this thing again. I think it's up... Yeah, here it is. Okay, where to next? I guess... I wouldn't mind going back to Dunduin. I was hoping what would be an RPG sketchy.
now we're not going to have to deal with fighters, are we? I would like no fighters, please. What happened? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. Oh. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saw Carrot's vessel. Well, that's not fighters, I guess. Oh, Fallen Order? I like Fallen Order as it is. I'm sure we'll get another Star Wars RPG soon. Fallen Order was amazing. I love it. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, a hero to me, until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which saw Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. And I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. We count on plenty of guards watching every move. <laughs> That's exactly why the topic's being discussed, Mr. Soggy Roman. Yes, there is. Don't worry, I can get away from Admiral Karath's guards. Is there some way you could use your battle meditation here? The Admiral will be watching the three of us far too closely for any plot involving you, me, or Karth to succeed. It's going to be up to one of the others to get us out of this. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Mission can do it. No prison can hold her. T3M4 is a pretty resourceful little guy. He could pull this off. Maybe Joan Lee could use the Force to affect their minds. Candorous, is there some way we can exploit your healing ability? Juhani, you can use your force powers and camouflage abilities to avoid capture. A droid would have the best chance. HK-47 could come and rescue us. This sounds like a job for a Wookiee. What do you think, guys? Mission, T3, Jolie, Candorus, Juhani, or HK-47? Or the Wookiee, whose name I never remember. Zalbar, that's the one. Probably setting your expectations too high. It's going to be very similar to Fallen Order in terms of gameplay. They'll probably refine the features a little bit, change up the mechanics a little, make them better in response to what they learned from you know uh, the experience of doing the first game, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I wouldn't expect any kind of radical changes to the basic formula or to the core style of gameplay. You love HK... HK seems, I don't know, we could try it. I don't tend to use HK a lot. I'd personally be inclined to go with Mission or T3. I'm kind of, we've sort of criminally underused Juhani. I wouldn't mind seeing if she can actually avoid capture. You speak the truth. I, along with all the group, might be able to remain hidden if the Sith search the ship. I could wait until the guards have completed their search, then come to rescue them. 
It's too much of a long shot. They'll find you. We need another plan. We'll try it your way, Juhani. May the force be with you. Hold on. They're dragging us into the docking bridge. We'll give it a try. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karth warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We searched the ship from top to bottom. Somebody would have had to be invisible for us not to find them in there. Well done. Return to your post and I'll tell the Admiral of this. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my homeworld. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. History? What are you talking about? You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. My loyalty is as true as Karth's. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Karth will suffer. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy in which you were trained? <laughs> Alderaan. It's an Alderaan. Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. Very well. This is the price of your resistance. Ah! Enough. You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. More empty threats. We Sith prefer to let our actions speak for us. Perhaps that is why we are winning this war. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? We have been sent to assassinate Lord Malak. Do you take me for a fool? 
The Jedi are not assassins. They would never devise such a plan. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. Listen, can you not hear him suffering? You can spare him further pain by seeing Raid incoming. Do not panic. Please report to welcoming shelters immediately. Seek help from Joduri, El, Talera, or other librarians as needed. Be ready to distribute library cards. Lou, what the heck? It's so wonderful to see you. How are you doing this evening? Folks, if you do not know Dim Somebody once told me, or also known as Lou, uh, make sure you go give her a follow. She is such a great streamer. She doesn't get to stream very often. Like maybe I think you're still once a week, right? Or have you got a bit of a break now and uh, you can stream a little bit more maybe? Hopefully. But make sure you go give her a follow because she is an utter delight in every stream that she does. It's so much fun to hang out with her. How are you doing? What were you up to? You are unwell? That's not good. That sucks. I'm very sorry. I hope you feel better soon. Uh, how's your Mass Effect playthrough going? Which one are you up to now? Are you still... I guess you must be doing Mass Effect 3, right? Still on my once-a-week schedule. School year does not end until June 13th. Oh, but you're getting there. You're getting there. You've got, like, just a couple of weeks left. If you can tough that out, then you'll be on break, and you deserve it, and then some. So hopefully you'll get some time to do some good stuff once that uh, comes up. So thank you so much for bringing your folks over with the raid. If you've never been here before, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of narrative-heavy games with really good character development, as well as a lot of strategy games, sandboxy games, uh, you know, classic RPGs and retro adventure games, and... Uh, Lately, I, I, I've made a bit of a change to my schedule where tonight is Retro Sunday, tomorrow will be Maker Monday, and last night was Strategy Saturday. So I'm going to be doing those types of games on those nights, and it's uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. So how, 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 tell me all about this Mass Effect playthrough. How is that going for you? I've seen a bunch of it, but uh, I don't know where you are currently at it. You bought your first set of D&D dice. Oh, man, Lou, that's amazing. You're part of, the, part of the Dice Goblin horde now. Excellent. That's a slippery slope, though. You might want to consider staying in, you know, uh, elven land with the dice where you pick and choose carefully because once you go goblin, it's hard to go back. So, uh, but yeah, I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you all in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, <laughs> Okay, that... Let's go for it. Oh. Whoa. Hey, I have not. I have not looted that, sir. Should be coming, actually.
There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Uh, it's so good to have you here, Lou. Uh, we started a new campaign and decided to finally buy my character some dice. That is awesome. Now, I actually hate to do this right after a raid, but I need to take a break because this is my last chance to eat food until about 7 p.m. tomorrow night. So I need to go do that. My breaks are usually about three and a half to five minutes long because I'm going to be finding stuff to eat. I'm going to probably be a couple of minutes longer than that. So assume five to seven minutes or thereabouts, but it won't be too long. I'll get back as quickly as I can. So if you guys don't mind, I'm going to run and do that now. If you need to get up yourself, I know you just finished streaming, Lou, so you might need to get up and stretch a little bit and grab something. Uh, this is a really good time to do it. I'll meet you back here as soon as I'm done. Nope, too fast. Darn. The uh, 16 9 form factor aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Careful, Uthgird. I know you have a predilection for setting off traps. Careful. Nope. Well, at least you didn't actually get hit by the arrows. Oh, shoot. <sighs> you think you're so scary, sir, but you're dead. You don't even know it. The only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid. He is the personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? <laughs> oh. This can't be the original entry room, can it? That's what I was just thinking, Greeny. This looks completely different. The lighting is so different. This is that trap room, isn't it? Where the gas comes out and everything's really dangerous. Traps. How considerate. Oh my god. The lighting makes such a huge difference. Holy crap, it looks so different. <laughs> oh my god, the charging of the boar. Oh, oh. Wait, how am I earning trophies? What the heck? I should already have gotten that. Oh! Wow! That was brutal! Holy crap! Whoops. Okay. Did I miss something? Why is Serana murdering me? I'm not sure where that boat went.
screwed. What the hell? Gotcha. No problem. Okay, I'm back. Enjoy your lurk, Lou, and thank you again so much. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? This accomplishes nothing, Saul. We will never betray the Republic. Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! No! I beg you! Mercy! No! I am surprised he did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone Thank you, Greeny. such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. <laughs> Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. No one is without hope of redemption, Bastila. Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taras, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? Maybe April Carath was lying. I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Endar, Saar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saul gets back. Where is Saul Carath now? Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I, uh, I have to confess something. There was a, there was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping that you would tell him what he wanted to know, just to make the horrible pain stop. No, I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain, but you had no other choice. You couldn't betray our cause. I, I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. Watch you suffer like that, I... I might have cracked. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we are here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Juhani busts us out of here before he arrives. Speaking of... I shall not be seen.
subtle as a bull in a china shop. Since we got to use her for a little bit, I'm going to specifically level her. We might want to buff up her stealth ability a little bit. Maybe make her... Let's see, what does she got? Oh, she does have a little bit of dark side power. Oh, this is light side power? Interesting. Universal. Sable droid. Huh, okay. We'll do some extra speed. Is it we only get the two levels okay uh, it's unfortunate they're starting us here I kind of wish we were back on the ship so I could gear up one of the other lightsabers we've got for her maybe I can give her no shoot she doesn't have access to our inventory this is what the heck do they use this elevator for it's massive and yet, very low ceiling, so it can't be a freight elevator. Cell block. Uh. Okay, I guess we don't want to use the elevator after all. Technicians wear battle armor here? Wow. She has no spikes. Okay. Oh, let me guess. There will be spikes in here, but not many. Four spikes, four parts. If it's going to cost her two just to slice into the system, everything else is going to be ridiculous. I'm not even going to bother with it. Starboard cell block key. That's gratitude for you. Wow. Oh, they're insane. Okay. Well. Help me out of this cell and me help you. Who are you? Evil Sith unjustly capture me and my ship. They think we spies. They torture all the crew trying to get information, but we not have any information to give. 
But Sith not care, they interrogate Captain until his mind snapped, then they grab first mate, then navigator. They all crazy now, mind's gone. So sad, but they nothing but animals now. Me lowest rank on ship, but now me only one left. Soon Sith come to interrogate me too, but me not know anything. Me just, uh, me just traitor in rare goods. You're a smuggler. Such unnice language. Me helps people, and people helps me. You helps me, and me helps you. Something special, something you can use on ship. Something very powerful. Ooh, icebreaker. Access to computers on the ship, use it to override Sith security programs. That would be good. Why wouldn't the Sith have confiscated something like that? Not very thorough in search, okay. Say no more, I get the picture. If that alien is speaking its own language, why translate it in such broken English? Uh, who knows? Maybe it's just a quirk of the way it translates directly. Or maybe it's translating for a representation of a similar style of sentence structure in its native language. Trader, not fighter, Sith all around guarding terminals, but you look like you can get to terminals, no problems. Knows good opportunity when we sees it. Get cards from guards to get me out of cell, not want to be here when Sith torture me. Okay. Icebreaker. Excellent. Only good for one use, so not waste it. You go fight guards, me go hide now, wait for chance to get to ship. Thank you, sir. I'm glad I kept my spikes. You hook up the icebreaker to the terminal. After a few moments, you see activity on the screen. <laughs> this is fun. I like this icebreaker. Okay, not much there. Okay. Was it? It was just them? Wow. Just getting weird vibes of old TV shows and movies having foreign characters always speaking the same generalized broken English. I've seen it in other contexts as well, done in similar, like, recognizably similar but slightly different ways, like, uh, I'm trying to think of a particularly good example where, oh, what's the name of the anime? It's one of my favorites. Um, there's an anime series, it's based on a manga. And some of the characters in it speak with a distinct dialect of Japanese that is different from what the other characters speak. And so when they released it as an anime, when it was adapted to anime as opposed to manga, 
they represented that by giving that character a southern accent in her English to represent the fact that her accent in Japanese was different. So it's probably something like that, where the translator gave him a broken English kind of dialect to represent that maybe he had an accent or something else was going on. It might not be literal. Okay, I'm a little confused about the layout of this place now. Hang on. That happens a lot, like the Digimon character that sounds vaguely like he's from Brooklyn in spite of everyone growing up together. <laughs> ability to get back up there. It's bothering me that I can't think of the name of this anime because it's one of my all-time favorites. Technicians. Oh my god, she really has the jumps. <laughs> Not bad, Juhani. Maybe I ought to be using her more. Uh, it's kind of a low key high school kind of slice of life comedy about a group of schoolmates going through three years of school and just the really weirdness that they encounter as they go through it. Um, it's... Next time I take a break, which will probably be in about 20 minutes, I can find it because I do have the manga and I do have the anime. I just don't have it within easy sighting range. I'll have to figure out where I put them. Unlock aft holding cells and equipment storage. Well done, Juhani. In freeing us from the cell, you have proven yourself truly worthy of the title of Jedi. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching, and I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. We need some type of plan. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in, then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. 
and I have a feeling I'm gonna find him on the Leviathan's bridge. That's a good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. Good. Get to the equipment room, grab what you need, and get going. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just I make appreciate sure the, the host. Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the force be with you. Oops. I didn't mean to cancel out of that. Thank you so much for the host, Matelski. How's it going? It's good to see you. Most of what I've seen is weird magical powers. Yeah, nothing magical or supernatural or combat -y or anything in this one. It's kind of atypical of the stuff that I usually watch, but it was really good and really funny. Ah, Karth levels up now. Okay. I'll just let him auto level. Yes? Hmm? <laughs> we have the high pressure suits here too? That's a little weird. Nope. Although I do like that one a lot as well, Haggis. I need to see that in full one day. This is more recent than that. Maison Aikuku is by the creator of Ranma One Half, actually, which is also really fun. Okay, got that. I'll have to figure it out when I go on break. Runmo one half is insane, yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen it too, Haggis. I actually kind of wonder if it would play as well today as it did years ago. Oh, is it a Met Metalski? Met Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. <clears throat> I wasn't sure if that was a raid or a host. I appreciate it so much. Welcome on in, folks. Metalski. Thank you so much for sharing your community with us. How was your stream this evening? How did things go? Um, let, let me know how everything went. Roku, welcome on in. It's so good to have you all here. If you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of, you know, a variety of games. I play a lot of uh, narratively heavy games with good character development as well as strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPG games, and classic adventure style games. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in too, so hopefully that won't scare too many of you away. How's it going, Metalski? It's so good to see you. It was chill Overwatch and RuneScape. You opened some Pokemon also. Very, very cool. Night's going really well. We're playing some retro Knights of the Old Republic. I'm doing something a little different tonight with uh, the first official Retro Saturday stream. Or, sorry, uh, not Retro Saturday, Retro Sunday stream. It was Strategy Saturday last night. So we're playing some Knights of the Old Republic, and uh, it's, it's going really good. We've made some really good progress this evening. I'm very happy with it. But uh, here's that video I promised you. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh crap! Oh no! <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter! Oh damn it! Oh no! No 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 no! Oh shoot! Form factor, aspect ratio. Oh no 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 no! Oh crap! That Let's go for it. Oh. Whoa. Hey. 
I have not... I have not looted that, sir. This be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. Thank you so much, Batalski. I'm glad that uh, your stream went well. Oh, um, I guess I need to gear up, huh? Jedi Master Robe. Where are my lightsabers? Reflex plus two, reflex plus three, mind immu oh immunity to mind affecting. Fortitude, stealth. I might do that one actually. I don't think I need any of those ones. Implant level one. Immunity to critical hits and awareness plus one. Wow. Constitution plus four. Damn. I might take that. There we are. I love Obi-Wan so far. It's so good. It's... Ugh, I love it. I love everything about it. I know it, apparently it's kind of weirding me out, but apparently it's getting mixed reviews, which I don't really understand at all. But I guess different things work for different people. So far it's working for me 100%. How about yourself? Oh, uh, you're liking it too? I just kind of love what they did with the whole, you know, making it a little slower paced in the first episode. They did a absolutely bang up job of really showing the desolation of a Jedi's life in this new situation they're finding themselves in. It has... Yeah, I don't want to get too much into what's going on with it or do say anything spoilery, but it has severely strong Fallen Order vibes to it. It gives me a very similar sense to the show, or to the game, rather. And that, in my mind, that's a really good thing, since they're dealing with a very similar, you know, a, a very similar time period and very similar events. And even some similar characters in some respects, it makes sense that it would feel very similar. This is Candorus. We're at the Evan Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry, we'll figure out a plan to take care of them. Excellent. Star Trek fans gave it mixed. That's probably true to some extent. I'm a huge fan of both, actually. I just started streaming uh, Star Trek Online on Thursday, actually. 
I've never done that before. I've played it before. I've never streamed it before. Okay, we wanted to go to the bridge, right? I think we also want to save. It's been a while. Yeah, there is. Strange New Worlds. Ugh, it's so good. I love that too. This week is actually kind of a week for the record books because we're getting new Star Wars TV, we're getting new Star Trek TV, and we're going to be getting new Orville TV as well. So, like, all the major current running sci fi franchises are airing new television episodes just in this one week. We are spoiled with riches of goodness in the sci-fi universe. Uh, well, I will not spoil that either, but Metalski, you're in for a treat. It is true classic track. They've done a remarkable job of capturing that feeling and just making it really, really amazing. There we go. Yeah, I'm curious to see what they're going to do with Babylon 5. I'm a big fan of the original series, and I really like what JMS has said he's going to be doing with the new version. Superior targeting computer, very nice. I did enjoy Babylon 5. The series after that was A to me. A Crusade, yeah. Yeah, Crusade didn't run very long though. The most notable thing about Crusade for me is that it was. Um, I think it was probably my very first introduction to both Daniel Day Kim and to Gary Cole. What? Karth. How dare you? I like the first season of Andromeda a lot. Are we good? Are we done? There you go, Karth. up all my force just healing him better supplement it with some actual healing stuff things yeah I liked Andromeda especially the first season after that it went a little off the rails for me um, of course it's it's unfortunate about uh, what's his name 
Kevin Sorbo, but I really like Rami from it. The Stargate reference? I don't get that one, unfortunately. Damn it, Karth. Looks like it's sketchy. Looks like it. Data pad. Young Aquaman? Oh, yes, Ronan. Was when Commander Shepard and Teal were in a time loop when they figured out they began goofing off a bit and in one loop they were hitting golf balls through the Stargate? Yeah, see, I've only seen up to maybe a quarter of season two. So I don't know any of that stuff yet. I have the entire series on DVD and actually... I think almost all of it is on my Plex server, so I really should watch it one of these days. But I haven't yet. Looks like a big fight. Oh, I'm sure we're going to have to face off against Darth Malak. I think that's pretty much a given. But I want to explore and figure out what's going on where. Okay, so we were already in here. Oh, those were barracks. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Elevator corridor, elevator, right. Now that we've got those cleared out, maybe I should save again. Farscape was bonkers. I've seen very little of that. I do like what I have seen. I just I need to see more. Yeah, I saw a little bit of Lex every once in a while. I would watch it when I caught it, but I haven't seen all of it, and it was just kind of, in some ways, maybe a little too bizarre <laughs> for its own good. I don't really want to slice the computer. If I had D3 or Mission with me, maybe. Really? Four damage? Karth. Seriously, how are you half dead? He survived five seconds. <clears throat> Why stim packs over med packs? Oh, crap.
That was brutal. Holy crap. Originality's sake, that's not really the priority when you're naming stuff like that. Originality counts for very little. Understandability counts for a whole lot. And besides, stim packs are used just as often as med packs are used, so I don't know that it would really have helped a lot. What can I do? Ready. We need to take a look at what Karth is pack. Oh my god, he has barely any gear. Um, let's give him reflex save boost. Give him any Chani shield and, and a Sith energy shield. He can't do implants. really need those. What? That should help him out a bit. Yes. Uh -huh. Actually, what armor is he using? Republic mod armor. Maybe I need to see if I can mod that up better. I'm here. We need to get back to the ship for that though. Grogu, this is actually on the switch. And they've just announced that the, um, they have just announced that the sequel is getting ported to the Switch as well. May I have your attention for a moment? Please welcome our newest follower. Eld will have a comfy seat prepared in just a moment. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. It's going very well. Welcome on in, MG Trojan. How are you doing this evening? Ah, that's the bridge. I kind of want to clear this area out if I can. Oh, Dark Jedi Master. Fun. Oh! Well, that's great. Oh my god. I don't think I was ready for that room. <laughs> wow. It is a direct port. Uh, they are going to be doing the... Uh, like a complete remake for presumably PC and console though. I can't wait for that to come out. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, that tends to happen. At least I know what to expect when I get back there though. I'm not sure how far back we are now. Oof. That actually hurt a bit. We still have that horrible fight ahead of us. Well, for the most part, Grogu. There are a few points where it's been kind of buggy. There's an area of Kashyyyk that bugs out a little bit. It's nothing severe, 
it's mostly an audio bug. And I had a little bit of that happen on the underwater part of Manan as well. But yeah, mostly it works pretty decently. No serious issues. And it's infinitely easier to stream than the PC version is reported to be. Not a case of the deads, it happens. What can you do? You just gotta try and get over it. Hello, folks. This is why you save. Game-breaking bugs were rampant on that other Star Wars game you played a while back. <laughs> I play a fair number of Star Wars games. Do you mean the Lego Star Wars or... Jedi Fallen Order, what or which one are you referring to? What? There we go. That was a lot better. Oh, you're talking about Jedi Academy, not Sith Academy. How can I help? Oh, um. There is nothing I could say that would be helpful, I'm afraid. Okay, I didn't actually want to well, talk, but that's all right. Okay, no problem. Yeah, we want to loot, not talk. But yeah, Jedi Academy definitely had some bugs. Really good game. It's unfortunate I wasn't able to finish that one. But that actually, I wasn't playing that on PC either. I was playing the PlayStation version. Well, in, <laughs> in Jedi Academy, there are just a lot of Dark Side Force users pretty much everywhere you go. Same thing if you get the wrong instructors. Fair, I guess that's fair. Okay, we want to avoid the bridge. Now, I think this is the Nightmare Door of Horrors. So... I realize I literally just saved seconds ago, but this one scares the 
crap out of me, so we're gonna save again anyway. Okay. So, let's see. Before we go and do this, we want to heal up. We want force shield. Actually, I should be doing stuff with all of them. Especially Bastila and myself. Karth, he's just gonna kind of going to be overmatched on this one, unfortunately. Hey, what did I say? I wanted night speed. That's better. Now, force immunity is going to be very critical here. So let's do that, and I hope Bastila has some equivalent. I'm going to have to hope that helps. Energy resistance might be useful. Okay, that looks like that's about as good as it's gonna get. That was so much easier. Holy crap. It's almost like preparing for battle is beneficial or something. Who'd have thunk it? What else have we got here? Watch out, guys. D this room done. guess we have to go to the bridge now since we haven't accomplished anything since the last save I'll just really these security doors are sealed because of the intruder lockdown you will have to find another way to get onto the bridge well um Karth, you could just, you know, step aside half an inch there. Can we 
cleared this out. And it calls that a deadly gas mine. That was nothing. Hmm. How's our map looking? Okay, so actually if we go back here... I might have to relent. I might need to actually find that terminal. Where was the terminal? To bridge storage. <laughs> There's one more room around here we haven't opened up, and I, I'm, I would swear there's a terminal somewhere. Aha! I wanted to save the spikes, but I'm clearly going to need them. Okay, so there's nothing really waiting for us inside the armory. That's good. Activate experimental assault droid. That would have been fun before we went and fought everything. That was not nearly as many spikes as I thought it was going to take. Detonators. Grenades. Sonic grenades. More grenades. Concussion grenades. Security equipment. Spacesuit. I'm not sure I love that they gave us a spacesuit. That implies there's going to be a spacewalk. Powered light battle armor. Durasteel heavy armor. Damn. They got some nice stuff lying around here. Watch out, guys. Yeah, that's about what I thought. What's this?
Air airlock? What? To com Why do they have an airlock separating the command deck from the rest of the ship? What? What? Who designed this vessel? I mean, I do realize, of course, this is an alternate way of getting there, but... Ugh. This is just weird. Also, shouldn't they have those things turned off while the doors are open? You're just venting all your oxygen into space. No one, we don't want to go out again. Hello. What the? Give me my lightsaber, please. remember what Karth was using. I got distracted looking at more Oblivion mods. Uh oh, Greeny, what'd you find? I don't think this is a bug, Prince Biomass. This is not a bug. This is basically, we were equipping spacesuits, so we had to strip off gear to use it, and then I didn't realize that, and so I jumped into combat without checking. got here. Give me. Wow. 
Why are there barracks and bedrooms on the command deck? What the heck? The Lost Spires. Uncover the mysteries of ancient Tamriel as only one can through the Archaeology Guild. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Scale the guild's ranks and explore new exotic locales to unravel a plot of sinister deceit, betrayal, and doom. That sounds like that could be worth checking out, Greeny. I figure at this point I've done just about all I'll be able to do with textures and such, so now I can start looking at quest mods. Oh. Very resourceful. I assume you had some part in this. You learned your lessons well from me. The only thing you taught me was betrayal and death, so... Don't be a fool. I'm giving you and your companions a chance to surrender, a chance to live. Darth Malak himself is on his way. He'll be arriving any moment. He speaks the truth, Karth. I can feel the Dark Lord's presence approaching. Malak will destroy you. But if you throw down your weapons now, I will ask my master to be merciful. I've seen enough of Sith mercy. You always did like to do things the hard way. Lord Malak would have preferred live prisoners, but corpses will have to do. Okay. They're not messing around up here. Yeah, I think we do four shields. Or armor, as the case may be. Night speed. Burst of speed. Force immunity. Night valor. Resistance. Now for Karth, he'll have to make do with his energy shield. Such an interesting thing having to check out very carefully on some of these mods to make sure I can stream it. Oh, you don't have to tell me. I ran, in, ran into any number of mods I thought looked potentially interesting for Fallout 4 and Skyrim alike, only to realize that, oh, hey, there's probably a Terms of Service violation in there. Nope, that's not happening. I'm just going to go through this real fast.
Do not. The Admiral, he's still alive. It's time to finish this. Don't you understand what this man has done to my life? Do you know the pain he's brought me? Killing him won't ease the pain, Karth. Do not become what you despise. Karth. Well, it is true, isn't it? And, and you knew. You and the whole damn Jedi Council, you knew the whole time. Karth, it's not what you think. We had no other choice. Please, you don't understand. So make me understand. What are you two talking about? What's going on? Not here, Karth. Please, there's no time. Malak is coming. This isn't the place. Please, Karth, I'm asking you to trust me for just a little while longer. Okay, I'll trust you, Bastila, but as soon as we're off this ship... I expect some answers. Of course, Karth. As soon as we get to the Ebonhawk, I'll explain everything. To both of you, I promise. Okay. Out of the way, Karth. Important looting to be done. Oh my god, that's a lot of credits. Oh boy. have to check this out. They wouldn't put it here if it did nothing. No! Oh well. Access denied. Spikes rejected. Destination cannot be reprogrammed. Okay, fine. This is where it starts to get real interesting. I mean, it's already real interesting, but this is where it really goes... I'd almost say off the rails, except that that implies it's a bad thing. It's really not a bad thing at all.
And that looks like Dark Jedi down that way. Okay, so we have to... Is that the direction we have to go? Thank you for the host. Actually, it isn't. Um. Oh my god, Kilgore Trout. Holy crap, thank you so much for coming in. Is What the heck? I appreciate that so much. Welcome on in, everybody. If you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. We are playing some retro Sunday Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. One of my favorite RPGs from way back in the day. An earlier Bioware title uh, from when they were doing mostly licensed D&D &D and Star Wars stuff. Ahoy, how's it going? It's so good to see you. How was your stream this evening? What were you up to? What were you playing? What brings you by? Uh, so I mostly play really story-driven games with heavy character development and good narrative, uh, you know, good narrative development as well. I also play strategy games and sandboxy games as well as lately retro RPG and classic adventure game stuff. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I do have a bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Uh, hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Attention, please. The library of lore would like to Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. That Let's go for it. Oh. Whoa. Hey, I have not. I have not looted that, sir. Be coming, actually. go that's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts yeah yeah we are doing a charity stream uh we're doing tonight and tomorrow night we're concluding our fundraising for saint jude you've been replaying kotor as well that is so much fun this game is so good i can't wait to see what they do with the full remake of it that's going to be something special however how far have you gotten and is it a replay or is it like a first time play because I should warn you and your viewers alike, I have just gotten to a point in the story where a massive, massive twist is about to be revealed. So if you do not want the game to be spoiled for you, this might be an excellent time to bow out. Because as soon as I manage to get back to the Ebon Hawk, uh, th there's going to be a bit of a lore dump and uh, filling in of the story that... It's like sixth sense level of uh, story twistiness is going to come up and everything's going to go to crap. So you had, you, you'd you better be warned right now and get out of here if you don't want that. You've probably got about five or ten minutes before it actually happens. But just so that you're well aware in advance, that is coming up right away. 
I'm good with the original, but the remake should be cool. Yeah, well, I, you know, we've always got the option to do both, right? I can't wait to see what the remake's going to be like because I've got the I've got the original on both PC and on Switch. So, you know, I'm good. If I ever want to get the classic retro vibes, we can always play this one, right? It may be the best Bioware game. A little bit buggy on the PC side, very difficult to stream. That's why I'm playing on the Switch. But yeah, it is really amazing. Uh, always light side for me. Oh, a replay for sure. Okay, that's good. You've played it loads of times. Uh, I, um, it has to do with the, it, it has to do with a secret about the main character. I don't want to actually answer that for the benefit of people who actually can be spoilered on this game. You play light side as well? Yeah, I'm almost fundamentally incapable of going dark side. Okay, so down south we've got some dark Jedi waiting. That way looks clear as far as we can see. You know what? I was gonna avoid the dark Jedi, but I might as well get the free XP while it's there, right? Wow, I thought that was actually going to be moderately challenging. Huh. Does anyone play this dark side? I would suspect that it's probably a minority sketchy. If I had to put numbers to it, just guessing completely in the dark, I would probably put it at about 20 to 30% of players at most. The vast majority will play light side. You did it on at least one of your playthroughs? Oh, interesting. Oh, there's more down here. Okay. If a game is fundamentally evil-based, like the GTA games and such, I don't even really think of those as evil-based. But I get where you're coming from. Yeah. But you always prefer playing good characters. I have a lot of trouble. Have you ever tried to play Tyranny? I actually literally just legit cannot play Tyranny. I can't do it. I can't make myself. I don't even want to think about all the different alignment playthroughs of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Those are also really good games. You can mind trick enemies off a ledge in KOTOR 2? Wow. Oh, I actually wanted heal. We'll play evil for you. Wow. Have a great night, Mad. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Now we have to find out where they stuck the ship. It's Candorus. We took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. We have to loot the place first, Kent. Oh my god, why did I decide this was a good idea? I, 
My Jedi is getting a lot better. I'm kind of used to her missing a lot. She's starting to get to the point where she can hit most of the time now. That's kind of a nice change. Okay, I guess that's it. Don't mind me, I save a lot in this game. See what this joke gets me? Alright, Psycaster, but I warn you, they're terrible for a reason. Just give me half a second here. I'll get the book open. Okay, terrible puns and dad jokes. Why did the chewing gum cross the road? It was stuck on the chicken's foot. There you go. There you go. Aren't you glad you wasted channel points on that? <laughs> uh... So glad I redeemed this, yes. That was a joke? Uh, well, it was a terrible joke. Like I said, there's, there's a reason they're called terrible puns and dad jokes. They're not good. They're never going to be good. If they were good, I would not be fulfilling my obligation as the setter-upper of the uh, channel points redemption. It's a worthy cause, wow. Oh, crap. That was it? Wow. <laughs> nice sketchy, I like that one. A bad joke is an at least an attempt at humor. This was this was simply so bad that it was not much of an attempt. That's what I'm going with. That's that's the explanation. Okay, where the heck are we headed? That's 
Not even a real door. Okay. Oh, I see. We're doing the traditional fight your way to the hangar so that you can get your ship back thing. With the unnecessarily long and complicated map to get there. talking about what <laughs> you mean you don't know <laughs> all this time and you still haven't figured it out <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now even the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever could it The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training, but this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. I love this bit. Tatooine. Kashik. Manan. Corbin. <laughs> Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? Oh, wait, do you actually... What? Okay, so that's just part of the flashback. I thought for a moment we were going to have to play out a sequence there. Wow. Okay. It's been a while. I haven't played this in like 15, 20 years. Thank you so much again, Kilgore Trout. That was amazingly kind of you to bring your folks over. I really, really appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. I'm Darth Revan? How is that possible? You do not yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you. And the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. 
How did they capture someone as powerful as Revan? I mean, me. I helped them, Revan. I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When the Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed the Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. Why wouldn't the Jedi simply kill me? The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. But why did you betray your master? You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. Bastila, is this true? It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. Then why don't I remember being Revan? The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. I understand. You had no other choice. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. Your power is no match for the light. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus Apprentice as it was meant to be. Okay. giving up already. Yep, he is a coward. Running away. Lame. <sighs> Man, I wasn't even trying my hardest there. Okay, come on, guys. Any moment now. Oh, I'm just gonna have to follow him, aren't I? Okay, fine. Seriously? On it. Damn.
Them. For the Jedi! I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. Uh, no, Bastila, he's too strong. No! He's not too strong. I was wiping the floor with him. The door sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. What the? Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Starforge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Vassala sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on! That's just... Uh, that's so annoying. I was beating the crap out of him. I could have torn him to shreds. There's no reason she should have to sacrifice herself. Oh, hang on. No, we want to go this way. My worst nightmare. Maybe one day I'll actually get good at this. Crap. I really hope it auto saved. It might not be so terrible if I had a keyboard and mouse, but on Switch controller, my god. Just tie my hands behind my back. I'd have an easier time of it. No aiming with mouse either? Okay, never mind. That would also be a nightmare. This might actually be easier.
This is the first time in the entire playthrough that I've actually done it first try. I guess I'm getting used to it. Where is Bastila? What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Bah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side, and the Sith will always be victorious. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said, or should I? Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind. Programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Dark Revan? This is... this is big. Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. Hey, you've got nothing to be sorry about. You didn't ask for this. Besides, I know you. You're not Revan anymore. Whatever you used to be, you're one of us now. I agree with Mission. I swore a life debt to the person you are, not to the person you were. Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? What about you, Jolene? What about me? I already knew who you were, though it wasn't my place to tell you. Better off that you know, if you ask me. Does it change anything? I'm not here to judge you. You'll do what you have to do, and I'll help if I can. Library of Lore, please welcome our newest follower to the channel. Thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate that. You defeated the Mandalore clans in the war, Revan. You were the only one in the galaxy who could best us. We had never met one like you before, and never since. How can you even ask if I'll follow you? Whatever you're fighting, it will be worthy of my skill. I'm your man until the end, Revan. No matter how this plays out. What do you have to say, HK? Commentary. I am... Experiencing something unusual, Master. Why? What's happening? Answer. My programming is activating my deleted memory core. I believe I have a... a homing system that is restoring it, Master. Everyone be careful. There's no telling what this means. Observation. That is unnecessary, Master. My intent is not hostile. I am receiving no combat override commands. Observation. My homing system is a function of my assassination protocols, that which I told you had been deactivated. This system was not. It seems that the homing system deliberately restores my deleted memory core upon... upon returning to my original Master. You mean Revan. Affirmation. Correct, Master. Synth protocols maintain that all droid knowledge be deleted before assassination missions and restored upon return. I have returned... Hey, Nubby. ...and my full functionality is now under your personal command. It is a distinct pleasure to see you again, Master. It just occurred to me that the way HK speaks with the whole affirmation thing before affirming what the person just said reminds me a great deal of the Elcor. Yet another sort of prelude to what they would come up with in Mass Effect. 
How's the art going, Nabi? It's really good to see you. Well, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Observation. Indeed. I do hope we shall have the chance to engage in combat together again soon, Master. Wow. What are the chances of that happening? Remember, we're talking about the Force here. At this point, Malak himself could drop out of the sky and I wouldn't bat an eyelash. Good point. <laughs> you won't abandon me, will you, T3? I knew the little guy would come through for you. Droids don't hold grudges. Well, Karth, will you stand with me against Malak? Well, the others seem to trust you. And I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? I'm not Revan anymore, Karth. You have to believe that. Actually, he really doesn't have to believe that, does he? I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. How do you think I feel? This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're going to find that star forge and save Basila. So let's do it before it's too late. <sighs> you just woke up so nothing going on yet? Yeah. We just got to the big reveal. Oh, this game is so good. Well, I guess we're going to Korriban. Okay, uh, actually, I think it's getting pretty close to 5 o'clock. I think I need to wrap up here. I'm getting pretty tired. So, where's our workbench? Did I have any new crystals? Oh. Next door... No, that's all just the normal stuff that I have. Republic mod armor. Okay, let's see. I thought we had better stuff for that, but I guess not. I'll, uh... I guess I'll have to go through and see if I can get Karth geared up better. He seems to be a little bit fragile in combat lately. He used to be pretty good, but then we're going up against a lot more Dark Jedi these days, so I guess he's just not really the one for that. But I think that's going to be it for our first official uh, Retro Sunday. So thank you so much, guys, for making this an amazing stream. That was a lot of fun. I can't believe we finally got to the big reveal this game it actually seems to be a bit shorter than i remember i thought this was going to go on for a good 80 to 100 hours and who knows maybe it still will but we're about 37 38 hours in now and it already feels like we're at maybe the two-thirds part so we might hit maybe 40 60 hours ish probably hit around 50 but, uh, yeah, so um, we're going to be doing some Maker Monday tomorrow, and what that's going to mean is that we play games that have a strong making component. So we did uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 for Strategy Saturday. That would also be a good Maker game because it's, you know, you're building a park. 
and a zoo all at once. So that would be a good potential game for that in the future. But uh, tomorrow, I know already by popular demand, we're going to be doing some more of my time at Sandrock. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope to see some of you back here for that. This has been great for me. The most I've been able to hang out for such a long time. It has been really nice having you here, Greeny. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm so glad to hear that. Let me see if we can find somebody awesome that we can raid. Uh, where's my list of people? Oh, and thank you guys as well for using the community challenges as the voting system. Uh, let me just recap that again so far. It looks like an absolutely dominating lead for Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Doing a replay of that, which I'm really excited about because I love those games. They're so good. Uh, second place, Persona 5 The Royal, which is really good news for me because I've been wanting to play it since the PS3 days. I bought it for the PS3, not the Royal version, but the original release version, and I never got to play for more than six or seven hours. So I've barely even begun. I would love to play through the entire thing. And then uh, in third place, but still with a significant number of points, Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars, one of the, you know, it's kind of a lesser known absolute classic of the point and click adventure genre. And it's sort of, you know, it's got this whole uh, Knights Templar thing running through it. And the whole series is uh, a series of mystery stories. So that plays into all kinds of stuff that I've been wanting to do for a while. So three really good games that you all seem to be interested in seeing me play in the future. So that's great. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Let me find my list of awesome people that we can raid, though. go. And that's on top of the other games that we've been voting for lately as well. Alright, let's see. Candlejack is on playing something called Ember, which I've never heard of. It's uh, spelled E-M-B-R, not E-M-B-E-R. So just four letters, E-M-B-R, Ember. And it seems to be some sort of firefighting game if his stream title is to be believed. So we've got Candlejack on. Laxative Legacy is doing some more Dying Light to Stay Human. Crystal Dragon 22 is playing some more Sniper Elite 5. Slappy Jack is playing... Oh, Phantasmagoria, speaking of classic point-and-click adventure games. Wow. Um... T with Mandy is playing some Hollow Knight. Simcopter1 is playing Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate. Spofi is on day two of her subathon playing League of Legends. And what if Julia is on still playing I'm on Observation Duty 4, whatever that might be. <laughs> Thank you, Greeny. Oh no, yeah, Mandy. Oh geez, I uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mandy. I am tired. I am just wrapping up. But thank you so much for thinking of coming over, man. I was tempted to go check out how your Hollow Knight is going too. It's been a little bit. We'll raid you another day. I appreciate it, Mandy. Thank you so much. It's been a really good night. We've had so much success in the charity. We busted through our original goal and now we're working on a secondary just kind of uh you know to see how far we can take it and it's also been a really good night this is my first official retro sunday night uh so that was really fun i've decided sundays are going to be my retro night and then strategy on saturday and maker games like you know building jurassic world and city skylines and that sort of thing on mondays so that's really fun I hope your stream went really well, though, Mandy. Thank you so much for thinking of us. I guess I have to take Mandy off the list of people we can raid. That sucks. Oh, well. <laughs> Mandy was going to be my first choice, too. Uh, if you haven't decided yet, Mandy, we could go raid Jack together. He's playing... Is that the one I think it is? Attention, Library of Lore. We extend our warmest greetings to our latest follower. 
Eld will show you to a comfortable seat. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. We're listening to your stream right now. I appreciate that, Mandy. May I have your attention for a moment? Please welcome our newest follower. Eld will have a comfy seat prepared <laughs> in just a moment. Thank you for all the follows, people. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I, I'm... I'm looking at the spelling of the game name that Jack is playing. I'm trying to figure out if he's playing the old Sierra horror point-and-click adventure game that Roberta Williams designed. And the more I look at it, the more I think it's a different game because the graphics look all wrong, and I'm pretty sure it was Phantasmogoria, and he's playing something called Phantasmgoria. So yeah, I think he might be playing something else. So I don't know what that game is, but I wouldn't mind checking it out and seeing how he's doing tonight. Let's go raid Jack. We'll do a double raid. You rarely get to plan those. Usually they just happen. I've got a little bit of an ad to sit through. Uh, sounds good, Mandy. Thank you so much. Guys, make sure you go follow Mandy. I know we already had the shout out, but Mandy is a super wonderful streamer. I've known her for years here on Twitch. She is just all good vibes. She is like made of sunshine and happiness and uh, chill good times. So make sure you go follow her. She is amazing. So let's go raid Jack. And I'll see you folks all over there and back here tomorrow night for some Maker Monday. First official Maker Monday stream. So let me get you the raid call. Let's. I'll, uh, uh, we already had a shout out, but I'll, I, I, I'm all flustered now. We've had so many good raids and stuff. Oh, there's Mandy. Okay, let's catch up. Uh, we're gonna go raid Slappy Jack One, and I'll just get the raid going really quickly. Usually, I wait till the end. There we go. But the raid call accelerated version. Library Raid, you've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel. Feel free to use any emote you want. Let's get over to Jack's place, see how he's doing. I will see you tomorrow night. Thank you so much, everyone. Tonight has been absolutely amazing and awesome and really, really fun, and I will catch you later. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye for now. <laughs>